from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Local beer maker South African Breweries recently unveiled its brand repositioning strategy. Darren Parker tells us more. SAB has revealed a new logo as part of the launch of its brand repositioning strategy. On November 17, the company showed off its new logo along with a new slogan, to a future with more cheers, which embodies the company's stated objective of playing a key role in the upliftment of the South African economy through multi-billion rand investments and the creation and sustaining of thousands of jobs. The new logo features a gold circle representing beer that transitions into a red line representing passion and purpose, which intersects with a red typeface to form the letters SAB. The new typeface was designed so that the AB pays direct homage to the logo of SAB's parent company Anheuser-Busch InBev, otherwise known as AB InBev. So we haven't had a brand repositioning for a long time uh, and, and globally we've repositioned our global brand as well as our global purpose. So in SAB we thought it was a good time given where we are in the country, given that we hadn't done it for a long time and given our global uh, parent company had uh, rebranded and changed its purpose, that we changed our purpose to align with that um, and, and, and to give new purpose to both hopefully the country, but also, importantly, the, the company. SAB also revealed a new television commercial, or brand film, as part of the company's brand repositioning campaign. I think the last time we did a TVC was, was about two decades ago, so a long time ago now. For SAB, the brand repositioning is more than just a logo and television advert. So principally, the, the brand repositioning, yeah, the, the logo is a part of it, an important part of it. But it's about aligning our purpose, as I said, to global. So our global purpose is we dream big to create a future with more cheers, right? And, and, and we needed to understand what that meant for us as a company in, in, uh, in South Africa. And our big dream really is to ensure that we grow, we grow responsibly so that we can add positively to the country, both in terms of GDP growth, revenue collection, ESG, SAB touches multiple parts of the economy and a growing SAB, a responsibly growing SAB, add, will add significantly to the, reigniting the growth in South Africa. And so we felt it was a good time to change the positioning and communicate what our big dream is and then obviously deliver against that. The repositioning follows on the heels of SAB's September launch of its first ESG strategy and the release of its Global Reporting Initiative compliant ESG report in November. Our big dream is about growth, as I mentioned. It's about creating jobs uh, in the country. It's about contributing meaningfully to society, the communities. But a big part of that dream is also around ESG and our ambitions around ESG and being the leader within the industry with regards to ESG. So ESG forms part of our big dream for what SAB will do and how it will contribute both to society and the country. Samsung is increasingly focusing on developing technologically advanced products and appliances that integrate with the needs of consumers while ensuring environmental sustainability. Natasha Udendahl has a story. As Samsung showcases its rapidly growing new generation premium home appliances and products, sustainability is top of mind as the group meets demand for smarter devices. Samsung's environmental sustainability strategy details its plans to reduce its environmental impact, with the ultimate goal of achieving net zero direct and indirect emissions by 2050, leveraging its innovative technologies to implement sustainability throughout its production process, product life cycle and more. Starting this year, Samsung has accelerated its push towards creating a sustainable future, maximizing resource circulation and developing technologies to reduce pollution and emissions. According to Samsung Consumer Electronics Director Mike Van Leer, Samsung is looking to see how it can make the planet better, discussing with Engineering News a handful of the many strategies the global firm is pursuing to meet their newly tabled environmental ambitions. 
I was privileged to go to IFA this year and there were two uh, fundamental themes that we saw coming through. The one of course uh, focused on smart things as you well heard and the connectivity of devices but the second and equally important aspect is that of sustainability. Um, and um, you know Samsung like many brands is looking to see how we can make the planet better. Uh, we, we spoke uh, today about a, a few things that we are doing. The, the first thing is that it's a well-known, well, it's actually a little-known fact, but it's a fact now that I've learned, is that 50% of plastics, ocean-bound plastics, are actually coming through the washing of our clothing. Um, and as a, as a leader in the, the washing technology, we've decided to put in filters that eradicate the ocean-bound plastics uh, through the use of the filter. Uh, when that filter is then used, we get that into the recycling and we can then recycle that. And many of the parts of the product we're using uh, ocean-bound plastics to manufacture parts of mobile phones, TVs, remotes, etc. Further, Samsung's existing remote control technology, Solar Cell Remote, underwent an upgrade becoming 88% more efficient than the previous 2020 models and completely battery free. The group, in an effort to contribute to the world's sustainability ambitions, opened this technology to the wider industry. This is actually something that's been in existence for a few years now with Samsung Premium TV, uh, but we've opened that up to, to a multitude of TVs. Now most of our TVs come with a, a, a solar remote. Um, but in fact, it's not only a solar remote, it can also uh, charge from normal fluorescent uh, lights, but it can also charge from a residual Wi-Fi signal. Uh, so just about any time you, you can have this. What's very interesting about Samsung is that they've opened this technology for anyone to use. So any uh, TV manufacturer globally can use this technology. We don't charge them for the license of it. Uh, and really the ultimate uh, goal is to eradicate batteries or single-use batteries from landfills. We believe that over the next several years we will eradicate 200 million batteries globally through this technology. So super proud to, to bring that to you today. Samsung is focusing significantly on products that smartly manage and ensure energy efficiency, in some cases up to 77%. During a recent media tour, Samsung showcased its innovation and the technological features found in the latest refrigerators, vacuum cleaners, air conditioners, air dressers and washing machines. Highlighting its digital inverter technology, which is an innovative technology installed into its appliances, to make them perform efficiently and reduce energy consumption. We've collaborated with more than 400 vendors now uh, to, to be able to connect devices together. What's interesting about that is that at IFA they announced the, the SmartThings Energy part of the application uh, and that really has some artificial intelligence built in. So it, it looks at the energy usage of your home. For instance, they had a PV system, a solar system set up, a home solar system. Many of us South Africans now know what that is, don't we? Um, and they had one set up and you can see when you're producing energy from the, the sun and how you can use your appliances or any other product internally to ensure you're using energy at that time. Let's use an example of an air conditioner. When you get home at night and it's a little bit muggy and you feel like you need to lower the temperature of the home, that's probably not the best time to do it. If you are lucky enough to have a PV system, you actually should be dropping the temperature of the home whilst the sun is up. And then you can use technologies to ensure that you keep the ambient temperature. And one of the technologies we brought to you today was wind-free technology, which uses a lot less power. In fact, it uses a lot less power for two reasons. One is the inverter technology, which uses power more efficiently. And the other is the, the, the wind-free um, um, technology that brings these 70,000 holes in the, wind, in, in the air conditioner itself and keeps the ambient temperature down. By the way, the inverter technology is built into all of our refrigeration and our washing products. So using up to 77% less energy uh, in a household. So really excited to bring that uh, to you today. Further to this, Samsung is considering its manufacturing process and the use of products that impact the Earth's environment and is in search of ways to reduce its footprint even more. With Samsung's 2022 televisions, monitors, digital signage and remote controls, for example, using recycled resin. Samsung products are also now packaged with eco-packaging, which features 90% less ink, while also removing the staples during production, both of which reduce waste and make it easier for the recycling centers to process. 
That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.